Uh, you've mentioned Nancy Pelosi a, a handful of times, and uh, you've mentioned you mentioned her a handful of times. You haven't mentioned your opponent once. And I'm just wondering why that is. Listen, my, my, my opponent's going to come and make his case. I'm making my case. The problem is most, if not 98% of the members of the Democrat caucus, maybe it's not that high, 95%, vote with Nancy Pelosi 100% of the time. So, so it, you know what, it almost, it, it almost doesn't matter. If they're a Democrat in Nancy Pelosi's house, they're gonna be voting with Nancy Pelosi. They're gonna be representing Nancy Pelosi's interests, not the interests of central Pennsylvania. All right, my focus is on the people of, of, of central Pennsylvania and, um, and, and bringing legislation uh, from, a, from a macro level to what's best for the American people, but from a more micro level, what's best for Pennsylvania. We've seen over the last few months social unrest play out in front of us and with a lot of uh, protesting um, with black men and women being killed. And I know you've aligned yourself and you've spoken a lot about law and order. You've aligned yourself with President Trump's uh, viewpoint on this. What does that mean, law and order in your mind, and what changes are needed, if any, to, the, to criminal justice reform in this country? Well, as you know, the president has passed, did pass a very large scale uh, justice reform bill, which really, really got very, very little press, but it was very significant. Listen, people are people. We need to embrace all of those that do not feel that they are being protected or represented properly within, within their communities. We need far better conversation, far better communication. The police need to share what, what they're doing, the type of work that they do. The community needs to provide feedback on what they need to feel better about the law enforcement, about those that are there to protect and serve. No question. We did our best to pass the Justice, Justice Act by, by Senator Tim Scott. It, it, was, it, was, it was a great initiative. Democrats completely voted it down. So rather than coming through with 70 or 80 or maybe 90% of what they wanted, we got nothing. Once again, I think it was a very political move on once again, the, the Democrat leadership in the House. Because I know, Matt, I know there were many Democrat members that wanted to vote for that bill, but they didn't because Speaker Pelosi le leads the way. Now I'll also just add this, right? Got to have law and order. We got to do all those things. We got to respect people, all people right? And, and get their views. But you got to stand with law and order. You have to stand with, with, with the police. Um, reforms, yes, let's always try to improve, but we, we cannot tolerate the type of lawlessness uh, and defiance of the police that, that exists in the streets. Is racism an issue in law enforcement, though? I'm sorry? Is racism an issue in law enforcement? Look, perhaps racism is an, is an issue in, in, in many aspects of life. I don't think that in, in what the world that I know, frankly, and in my communities and in Philadelphia and other places, I don't know. I don't necessarily believe that there's so-called systematic racism, all right? But if some people do, then okay, it still needs to be addressed. Uh, police, I don't know. Um, in most cities, police are 50% are African-American or 30% or, or African-American, 30% Latino. So I don't know where, you know, th those folks would, would be on the side of so-called racism. So look, I don't know if that is the, is the answer or should be in the discussion. We're Americans. We should bring people together, understand each other, deliver for each other. You know, it's a lot easier to be understood after your un first understanding. And um, look, work, can be, work has to be done. Right? We, we, we have some serious crises here due to this, and work has to be done. I'll tell you what doesn't help. It doesn't help when leaders, elected leaders like Democrat Nancy Pelosi, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, stay silent on the issue, uh, do have a tacit compliance to it, and, and really do not come out and denounce it, all right? or, even, or even recognize it. Kamala Harris had two sheriffs shot on assassination style in California. She was the for a former attorney general of California. She's the top cop, current United States Senate, running for vice president, and she was silent on that. That doesn't help. What that does, that encourages the, the hostility in the streets. That's terrible. That's not good. That's bad leadership. Anytime someone in elected office puts their political short game benefits as opposed to focusing on the long-term good of the country, 
To me, that's a leader that shouldn't be in any position of authority. Uh, I want to try to have a little fun, a little personality. Um, it's because uh, I know that there's you know, can get contentious and, and fired up. There are serious issues. With Th these are it's absolutely serious issues, which, which is absolutely why we've spent the majority of this. And I have one more question after this, but I do want to have a little fun. So I've got 30 seconds on the clock here. I know that's, that probably looks backwards. So uh, I'm going to press play here and then I'm going to ask uh, five rapid fire questions. All right. Shoot. All right. Best restaurant in Lebanon County? The, uh, um, geez, all right, you gotta, you gotta toss up. There's an Italian place right there on Main Street. He's got the best pasta. Uh, Luigi's? You gotta pick it up. Is federal 725 minimum wage too low? It should have been tied to uh, CPI. Uh, however, I'm for maximum wage and that comes from the private sector. Ben, hold on one second. All right, <laughs> we'll, we'll work on that for the next time, but I do want to get quick answers here. Best concert you've ever been to? I, I should be able to do this quicker. Uh, Bruce Springsteen. Where at? Syracuse. I'm a Syracuse grad, so I respect that. Uh, favorite sports team? I have to say, uh, uh, maybe sadly, but the New York Jets. I met you when I was six years old and it stuck. I, uh, I I thought that you uh, might say that it's okay to to get off that. By the way, you don't have to. Uh, we can all do. We can. No chance. Uh, trust me, I'm a Pittsburgh Pirates fan. Uh, professional role model. Professional role model. Outside of John Wayne, no. Um, look, there there are some there are some great people out there, great leaders, great great community leaders. You have many in Lebanon County that I, I admire, respect, business people. Um, uh, state representatives, uh, those in the military, we got, um, you know, we got great leaders over at Fort Indian Town Gap. Um, too hard to give me one, one name. If, if I'm pushed for a name, I'm, I'm going to say uh, my dad, Stanley Muser, former uh, uh, police detective, just an incredible, great American. Can't go wrong with family. Uh, last question here. Um, are you confident with the security and the results of, of this election? No, I'm not confident. Uh, I think what we need to do is face reality. We need to make sure we have a secure election and everyone should be dedicated to the proposition that one citizen, one vote. Okay, so now how do we assure that? There's no question mail-in ballots have a more of a possibility for uh, uh, fraudulent ballots or misinformation put on ballots or somebody filling out a ballot for someone else, then walking into a, a, a poll booth and giving your name and signing your name and, um, and uh, pulling, pulling the lever or hitting the button as, as these days are. So I, I think we, we have to keep an eye on it. I like that Pennsylvania, they are solicited ballots. So, you know, we don't have unsolicited, but you know, there's, um, uh, there's definite problems that could come out. I mean, you saw what happened up in Luzerne County you know, they say, oh, that was only nine ballots. Okay, nine ballots from overseas people serving in the military were thrown in the garbage. Um, okay, that's pretty early in the game for, for this to be happening. We saw in Virginia- Well, we also, we don't know if that's a, a general election issue, if that's a primary, we don't know when those ballots- Yes, we do. It was a general election issue. We do know that at this point. Um, I don't know a lot more other details, but I know it was general election. In Virginia, 1,200 people, and I, we're just getting the stories on it now, were, were mailed two, uh, two uh, absentee ballots. Okay, you know, you might be just saying, oh, these are one-offs, these are one-offs, these are one-offs. You know, in, in New Jersey, 10% of the primary ballots, mail-in, were, were discarded for false information or signatures that, that, that were suspicious. So look, we need to bring a high level of voter security to this, yet it's understandable that we need to have, you know, particularly in this day and age, we, we need to have access to voting. I mean, any, if you, anyone who was not for access to voting is for voter suppression, and to me, that, that's like treason, okay? But when a, when a voter does something fraudulent, they suppress a legitimate citizen's vote. So, you know, you gotta look at both sides of this and just look for voter security, one citizen, one vote.